two, one. Welcome back to Music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me. This week's featured lesson is an ever popular bluegrass standard sitting on top of the world in the key of A. And I've created a intermediate to advanced arrangement. And while it's in the key of A, I'm working out of G position. So you can do this song in any key, you know, that fits your vocal, um, you know, B flat, G, wherever you're working again out of G position. So um, got a lot of classic bluegrass licks for this tune, you know, a few little Tony Rice isms you know get that kind of that mean bluegrass sound a little bit so there's definitely some of that you can take and apply to in other songs as well so if you'd like to purchase the full length version you can click the link below or above and it'll shoot you on my website there you can do so it'll come with pdf tabs 30 minutes of video and four backing tracks to help you work your speed up and if you really like the way i teach and approach learning and like my song selection you can check out being a member at my site for a yearly or monthly fee access my whole library of over 300 video lessons i've got courses i've got a video exchange program um, and a lot of other great features as a member so give that a look if you so desire for now we're gonna start walking through this lesson here the first few measures and uh, the preview lesson here is gonna be a little bit of a throwback um, i'll have my old guitar uh, my old Santa Cruz guitar that doesn't uh, doesn't function as well as it used to anymore. So um, I'll be doing um, to the preview with that guitar as well. So anyway, let's start walking through it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through sitting on top of the world in the key of A. I got my capo on the second fret. I'm working out of G position. So again, that's a G chord, but it's sounding an A chord. Okay. Lots of hammer rounds and pull offs in this one, so watch your right hand. Let's go ahead and um, just play through the first few measures for you, and then um, we'll break them down. So here we go. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, one more time. Two. Ready, go, one. So right there, I got um, what's called as a brush stroke. I'm going to do a brush stroke across those three strings. And I could even do all three strings for the first three notes instead of just doing it for the first time if I want. Like to get the single notes the last two times but um, I have seen it done the other way though I'll just let you know I got a little grace note there like a quick hammer on real quick hammer on that's that eighth note with the line through it that's a grace note and so grace notes are really quick and then kind of cross pick with my third finger on the third fret of the B and then I pick the middle three strings there If you do that, if that grace note's causing problems, just um, forget about it for now and kind of add it once you get more comfortable because it can kind of turn into an eighth note or a sixteenth note and then it kind of messes up the rest of your timing. Um, it's a cool thing to do, but if it messes you up, just kind of get the ba basics down and then um, work on getting that grace note in there. But. So uh, I'm just gonna that brush stroke. It's it's kind of like a controlled strum. You like strum through the strings. You're not just like strumming when you play chords, perhaps. But you're actually like I'm landing on the strings below it. It's also known as maybe a rest stroke. Um, but it's got to be this controlled strum. And it gives it just a different sound, a different little effect. And it's just kind of just the little things in your playing that can really add up, I have noticed. Um. Okay, if you want to get them 
all in there otherwise. Okay, and just work on that cross picking if that throws you off, but it's pretty, you only have one finger down. And then here, I'm gonna pick and slide, and just quarter notes, but I don't wanna pick that second one. And then back to third fret, and then open G. It, but I kind of like to get that little slide just to kind of um, kind of sound more like the singer and just give it some style there. Sounds smoother to me. One more time, a little faster, or a couple more times. One, two, three, four, one. Brush stroke can take a little while to get controlled. Often, if I'm excited at the jam or something, like I'll like, you know, do it too loud or something. It doesn't sound nice, but you got to be really controlled and, and delicate almost um, to get that to sound just right. So it's just uh, one of those things that takes a little time. Okay, then let's check out the next few measures. Two. 